while I have my book out, I thought I'd do a really quick flip. It is still not finished because as I told you in the beginning of the video, I, I've been sick. But uh, I'm working on it. So that was January that I did a while ago. What I decided to do with the um, monthly, this is how I was doing it in my bullet journal. I was just writing the days down here with the dates. And then if I have an appointment, <clears throat> And I can actually show you. And I do want to share my bullet journal with you, but I don't think I'll do it today. This video will get too long. Um, okay, so what I do is I just write April, whatever, 2016, and then I write everything. And then I just write, you know, not just my appointments. It's if something's on my mind. Like, I love to watch Barb Owen on, on Friday. <laughs> she, she has a, a live stream on YouTube. And I love to watch her. So I, I put it in there so that I would remember. And that's this has just been working for me really well. So I thought, why change it if it's been working? So I'm going to keep it that way. So that's my January. The page, uh, you know, behind there is blank. I'm not sure what I'll do back there. There's a lot of art possibilities floating around in here. There's my, my dotted lines. I told you I have that as a free download. And I will post the link again in the description box below if you missed it uh, in my last video, the free download. So February, I made the tabs. I made um, the little strips. Remember, I'm keeping my sewing, things like that. I might go in and doodle on there. I don't know. I really, this is going to evolve. So I'm not going to bore you with the whole, the whole year. But I did all the tabs for the whole year. And let's see, where's December? And then I, I, I stuck this folder that I, that I found in here just to kind of cap off that. I am going to make some folders. In fact, I'm going to do a video on making pockets for our uh, group. So that will, be, that will be coming. I will keep you posted. And this was just a little collage that I had done that I thought, you know, just put it in there. It made me happy. Now, here are my file folders that I showed you in the last video that I cut out. I haven't done anything with them yet. And I penciled in what I wanted each section to be for. And this that could change uh, as I'm organizing myself in this book. But the first thing I did was goals. And, you know, you might say, well, it's on your mind map. Why did you put it back here? I, I don't know. I just felt like I needed it back here, too, because... The goals that I wrote on the mind map, they're very general. And so how do I achieve those goals? And that's something else that we'll be talking about. There's a process to breaking down your goals in order to make them manageable. Because if, if I look at that, that goal and it says, you know, new kitchen, oh my gosh, that, that means so many things. And if I just think of new kitchen, it could overwhelm me, like beyond belief. So I'll break down into steps back here. And that's what I've been doing in my, in my other bullet journal. I break down things into manageable steps. One, one last thing I want to tell you about goals. What I do is every month, the beginning of the month or the end of the previous month, I, I think about now what... What happened this month in my life? Did, did my goals work? Did everything go according to plan? Do I need to reevaluate and readjust for the coming month? Now, you can do that monthly or you can do it weekly. It de just depends on your personality and how you, how you operate. I like to do it monthly. It gives me a little more uh, leeway, a little more time to get things accomplished. So think, you know, just think about that. And if, if I'm giving you too much information, just hit the delete button <laughs> and move on. So the next um, thing I have here is my brain dump. Those are very cathartic. They're very important to me. And you notice I'm using different colors back here. So um, brain, my brain dump. This will just be anything that comes into my mind. It could have to do with my dogs. It could be... Um, you know, don't forget you wanted to try a new cracker. It could be anything. So 
often this is going to get really filled up because often I will take from this page and I will move the information up to my daily my daily thing okay and again hang in there with me if you have any questions you know do do you know ask me on the Facebook page we can have a conversation I'm sure if you have a question other people have a question uh, there's art and I left the art ones without lines so maybe I'll draw back here maybe I'll have a, a sketch thing uh, maybe it'll be an art project I want to do I don't know and then I left for the back of the book um, my health the, the you know, menus, maybe foods I want to eat, the vitamins, the protocols I'm on. Uh, maybe I want to track uh, my migraines, whatever. That's going to be in my health section. And I don't have any papers in there for that yet. And then finance. That's totally going to be the end of the book because I really don't want to show that to anyone. That's going to be um, every month when I do my bills. I just like to write it down and ma house maintenance, car maintenance, I like to keep track of that and I kind of stuck vacations in there. We like to go away a couple times. We have a camper and we like to do that. So uh, that's going to be at the end and it is going to constantly be changing but for now this is the way it is. I really want to know what you're going to do with yours so please you know leave a comment below but get on that Facebook group and start talking about what you're doing and what you're hoping for and if if you say to me Jerry you know you're totally out of your mind I'm not interested that's okay that's okay go to one of the other sister groups maybe you'll be interested in what they're doing and how they're doing it um, but you know you might get one thing out of out of what I'm telling you so I always figure if I get one tip out of a class it was worth it so anyway thank you for hanging in there with me I love you guys I I really enjoy doing these videos for you. It's almost nighttime here in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so I hope you have a blessed night and I will be making another video really soon for you. Um, I'm not going to do it just once a month I think because there's too much information I want to give you and I don't want to make the videos too long. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye guys.